Hey guys, this is Geno here today, and I'm going to make a tutorial about how to make our tear logo. First, you need to ask me for the tear logo right here, and uh, I'm going to make it with the cyborg um, template. I could give you the cyborg template, you just have to ask me on Skype, I'll give it to you. But um, you need this font too, Trajan Pro Regular. And you need to go to, you need to open the tear logo. And this goes for any logo. This is how to like add the flags over and stuff. Now um, you to make the tear logo, you need to delete layer five: Australia, Sweden, Brazil, Canada, USA. Share copies like copy three and copy six with the shapes. Then you need to unlock grunge, unlock shape one, copy two, unlock shape shape one, copy five. Delete all those three. Now this is how you get into the part. You leave these four here. Leave everything there is. You go into the tear, this this is a speed tutorial too, so I'm doing this really fast. You go into tear, you put in your name, I'm going to put in Geno. You move it where it's like centered perfectly. And you, I don't really know, I'll teach you how to change the text in this tutorial too. Now, you click on layer 1, now unlock it also. Click on layer 1, and then you go to place, and put your picture. It has to be kind of more widescreen like, or uh, so it looks like it's not so blurry and stuff. And I'm going to put it like this. And then you want to go to enter. Make sure it's above layer 1. Now you want to go to right click over to the side and click on create clipping mask. And there you go. That should be it. But then if you want to add it over the text, you click on the text. You go to place. You go back to your image or whatever image you want to be over the text. You go down. Go to enter. And you go to create clipping mask. And it should be there, it doesn't really work for this one. But um, that's all, you just place it, you put it perfectly, you move it around, you go to enter. You can always, if you ever want to move it after you're done placing it, use this tool right here. It's, you can press V for it, it's the move tool. It's the top one on the right, and on the left, of Adobe After Effects, and you can move it a little, you need to. So that is pretty much all you need. You need to install the font, so this works. And if it gives you an error, just click OK, or whatever the option is. That, and it should take you to the same font and the BG is perfect all that is perfect now you go to save as and you want to go to JPG which is the most common file or you can go to PNG it matters doesn't really matter but it matters on what you're really using I'm not sure which but this is the most recommended file format you go to file name you type in your whatever name you want it to call it and it matters this matters all on your um how good your computer is or how much, I don't know, it doesn't really matter because if you have a computer like mine which is pretty good, it doesn't really have to be that good of a computer but you can click cloudy, you move it up to 12 and you ha have um, the image options on 12 is cloudy and maximum matte, you keep at none and you don't mess with the format options and you keep it on preview you go to OK and you should have it in your files where your folder is so thanks for watching my tutorial and I will see you guys in my next tutorial soon. I'll see you guys later.